Hello everyone, so yesterday Ukraine shared video of the launch of its new Flamingo long range cruise missile. I'm going to play the videos without me talking in the original sound. So the first video that we saw is actually a combat launch against Russia, according to Ukraine. So this one here was used to target something. Man Bunny is on the container ship carrying Shahed components that was destroyed last week. I remember thinking at the time that the damaged course of the ship looked to be much too severe to be the work of drones, so I have a feeling it was Flamingo used to hit it. Additionally, all the other strikes which we've seen on Russia in the past few weeks have all had videos of drones in the air. There's nothing really which has stood out as likely being missiles, other than perhaps the strike on the pumping station which happened a few days ago. I guess that is a possibility as well. The second video shows a test launch of a missile. You can see that it actually has a bit of a resemblance to the old V1, with its wings and the engines slung above it. But it's actually either Millennium Group's FP5 missile, shown here with the company's brochure. The appearance and characteristics are identical. So I guess Ukraine has either purchased this or has permission to produce it under license. And check out the production capacity mentioned on the brochure. 50 units monthly. So these are designed to be very quick to produce and manufacture. Hopefully that means Ukraine can get these ready in bulk. No mention to the cost, but I have to assume these are pretty cheap as well. The missile also packs quite a punch. The one ton warhead is slightly larger than Russia's Iskander, which has proven to be a devastating and powerful weapon, and twice that of the Storm Shadow, which Ukraine has used to good effect. And you can also see its range mentioned here as well, 3000 kilometers. So this can hit many targets deep within Russia, much deeper than drones can. I believe Ukraine's longest range drone strike to date is about 1800 kilometers, maybe about 2000 kilometers. So it brings a whole wealth of other Russian targets within range of these. Now, I say potentially because the downside of it is the launch time. These will need to be launched from quite far back because the 20 to 40 minutes mentioned on the brochure gives plenty of time for a Russian spotter drone to notice it being assembled and set up and then Russia can launch an Iskander or similar on it. I expect these will be launched from Western Ukraine. But even then, despite that, they can still hit much further than Ukraine has hit before. Even from Lviv, for example, the coverage is roughly shown here. Some key targets are in this area, multiple air bases, and of course, Russia's Baltic fleet and the ships there. Ships are always juicy targets. Even if not actually involved in the Ukraine war, it's very embarrassing to lose a ship, especially to a nation without a navy. Not to mention all the oil refineries and oil depots and oil infrastructure in range as well. Ukraine has malleted Russia's Oil infrastructures are hard just using cheap drones. So having these flamingos with a longer range and a much bigger warhead is going to cause a lot of damage to them. So that's it for this video. Hope you found it interesting. Before we finish, going to play a video from Cars for Ukraine about the ongoing fundraiser. Thanks very much and take care, everybody. We are soldiers uh, of the 48th Special Task Unit for operating in the Southern Combat Region. We, uh, we need 4x4 vehicles uh, for our logistic supply and performing combat operations. Therefore, we are kindly ask cars for Ukraine and uh, to help us with uh, purchasing, refitting and delivering these vehicles to us and welcome uh, YouTubers Sukhomimus, Hard Treasure and others in their esteemed communities to join this fundraising so we could carry on our combat missions that you will hear in the news about. Glory to Ukraine! Slava Ukraine! Heroes Slava!